So I'm currently parked outside the um, library here getting ready to do some uploads for the YouTube videos. But thought I'd take advantage of this time while I'm in there working to let um, the vinegar do its work. I don't know if you can see that the blue two has some serious rust here all along the hood, um, the edge here, and it's actually gone all the way through, which means it's going to flake off and I'm going to end up with missing pieces here soon. What I'm going to attempt to do, um, it actually goes up underneath there. I don't know if we can get this up so you can see. The rust is kind of extensive. I don't know if you can see that with this camera here with the backlight, but you can see it's all rusted up underneath there. I really need like a metal brush or something to brush through everything. But um, I'm going to attempt to try to repair that real quick and cheaply. Um, instead of um, cutting things out and replacing the whole hood, which would be the proper repair, is actually replacing the hood probably. Unless you can get a piece of metal here welded or something. Um, I'm going to try to do it with Bondo. That means I'm, that, that piece is probably going to have to be fabricated out of Bondo. But I've got my water sprayer bottle here, which I'm hoping is the same size as this. Um, although the, I can see the cap's not going to be the same. But I was hoping to be able to insert the um, sprayer tip into this uh, vinegar. This is a uh, 4% diluted with water to 4% acidity. So I'm hoping that that vinegar will help to um, clean and neutralize the, the rust. Then after that, we're just going to put some Bondo on it. Um, I think the vinegar was like 80 cent, 90 cents or a dollar or something. Bondo was about eight dollars, and the um, spreaders was about a dollar fifty or so. And then after I get it kind of spread on here and dried, I'm hoping to sand it down a little bit, put some primer on it, and I might try to spray it with some blue that'll be close to this. I'm not going to try to match exactly. We're not doing the best job possible because I don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't have the funds either. We're just going to spend less than 20 bucks to try to fix this rusted issue before my whole hood disappears here in a pile of rust. The first thing I'm going to attempt to do is just to try to put the water sprayer bottle there. See how I opened it up and I took the sprayer out to insert it into the um, vinegar dispenser and hold the two and just go along and spray all the um, rusted spots and let it soak in for a while. Mmm, nothing like the smell of vinegar all over you and your car. Um, as you can see, I've sprayed up all along the edges here to try to get the vinegar up there to hopefully neutralize the rust. I heard that vinegar will actually remove rust. I just hope it doesn't remove all the rust and then my whole car falls apart. Just trying to neutralize it and then um, put the Bondo on it. I'm not even going to bother sanding it and stuff. I'll put a, uh, another coating on it here soon. This is how I kind of rigged the sprayer. You can see I just inserted it in. Didn't even, you know, it won't tighten. Just hold it and then spray it like that. But I decided to go ahead and spray the um, bolts and other things in the engine to try to neutralize. You can see the rust coming off there. Neutralize all the, the rust that's on the system. But um, vinegar apparently removes rust. It's a natural rust remover. So I'm going to do one more pass and then I will go into the library and continue this project um, once the uh, vinegar is dried. I have uh, sprayed everything that I'm going to spray, and now it's just a matter of letting it soak and dry. I know this is really bad, it's all puffy and stuff. Um, probably should have dealt with this much sooner. You know, when rust starts to form, it's best to deal with it right away, because you let it sit and this is what happens. It, gets, it doesn't get better, it gets worse. So, I'm going to go ahead and go inside the library now and try to finish some uploads and come out and check on the status of this. And if I get my uploads done early, I might go ahead and try to put the Bondo on there tonight, right now. Now, the normal way to do it, the correct way would be to sand all this down and try to make it um, smooth before applying the Bondo. But I don't think I'm even going to do that. I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to apply a thick layer on top of everything. Kind of making a new surface, hopefully that will stay so that it doesn't like you can see it actually goes through here we're trying to basically make a new edge so that you have something to grab and hopefully to seal it from further um, damage from the rust